I would have loved to have seen an Eiffel Tower made uh, from 80 feet high of scout staves. That would be a lot of staffs and knots to lash that. It's super impressive uh, and would be a pretty solid structure. So you could do some interesting pioneering with these. <laughs> Welcome to the Big Backyard, Jay here again, and we're going to do another video on scout staff. Scouting started in 1907 with Baden Powell and another group of people. He is the most famous. 1908 was the first big camp, a group of about 20 boys at a place called Brown Sea Island in the UK. Uh, now there are a couple places in Canada with the name of Brown Sea, uh, this or that. For instance, a, like a scout camp I go to all the time and love is Opelikon. And that is near Christie Lake in Ontario, and it has a brown sea field that you can rent, which is part of that site, and that's in homage to scouts in the early days. Now, in the history of scouts, uh, they started really early on with scout staffs or staves. Uh, right from the beginning, it's something that Baden Powell has in the program, and part of the uniform for a while. Now, it went out of fashion, I think, around 1966, as it was removed from part of the actual official uniform. But what a great tradition! And lots we can do with that. An example of that, a third world jamboree for scouting, uh, the French scouts that came over and made, I think it was an 80 foot Eiffel Tower out of lash scout staff. So just an example of what that tool can be used for as far as group building, pioneering, uh, skills in maintaining your gear to make your staff and uh, all the knot work and just thinking about how to make whatever it is and imagination, creativity, I would have loved to have seen an Eiffel Tower made uh, from 80 feet high of scout staves. That would be a lot of staffs and knots to lash that. It's super impressive uh, and would be a pretty solid structure. So you could do some interesting pioneering with these. Baden Powell, even in the early days, does suggest that you should get permission before you cut your scout staff. I think they're talking about doing it from a live tree. Um, but here around the city, there is tons of yard waste. I mentioned that previously. And so I picked some stuff up and didn't have my camera handy. When I do, I'll video how I harvest that. I'm a storyteller at heart, and I love to share tradition on the bit old fashioned, but especially I think in the scouting movement because it's something I'm proud of being part of. And I believe in that. There's so much here to give to youth. Um, yeah. <laughs>